Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. A friend of mine has a CZ Scorpion. This is the Evo 3 S1. I've seen these, never had an opportunity to shoot one. He was kind enough to loan it to me. So I just want to shoot it and see how it compares to all the other 9mm PCs. You know, if you follow my channel, you know I just, I, I absolutely love PCs. Love them. Probably one of my favorite. You know, the biggest thing is economical to shoot. Anyway, this Scorpion is totally different than the AR platform, so I'm anxious to see how it does, how it feels. You know, it looks different. It's gonna break down completely different. Let's just start. Um, it's not my gun. It comes, you know, from my buddy with a nice EOTech on here. I have no idea if it's sighted in, where it's sighted in, or anything so I'll be limited to what I can do I'm not gonna be able to test the iron sights because I don't want to pop off his his EOTech and screw up his zero the iron sights though I, I really do like those I'll show you up close here this thing spins around I really really like that design here let's see how we do it 50 yards Let's just see how we do here at 100. Boy, it is a fun shooter. I'll give you that. It is a fun shooter. I like the recoil in it. Um, it feels different than the AR. It, it has more of a... Um, I don't even know how to describe it. It feels like it's coming straight back. And it's a little less than some of those those PCs. Um, I got I got to run, grab some more ammo here. We'll reach out, see what we can do at 200. And one of the things I like about the CZ is it has the bolt stay open, lock back, and then the release for that is real convenient right here. And you just drop that down. The mag release is even better. You've got one on each side. And you just push forward and that pops out and then you've got the exact same thing on the other side you know if you were left here if you wanted to reach over with the other hand nice very comfortable very ergonomic that is one of the features that i absolutely love let's see how we can do here at 200. we'll try uh we'll try not bagging it and we'll just stand and hit my gong over there Hey, there we got it. He's got his flashlight mounted on here. It's hard to hard to hold the end of the barrel. He must have it zeroed pretty good. There's no way I'd be able to hit that at 200 with a nine millimeter. Um, I don't know if it's just me, the way this is, the, the barrel, it's a little harder to hold still. It feels like it's, it's very front heavy. I mean, the flashlight is not helping with that, but just the design and this sort of uh, flash diffuser, uh, it tends to be a little end heavy. I'd like to have the weight back a little bit more. Okay, another thing that I really like about the CZ, the mags, and I did notice that my PSA, the mags for my AKV, they're interchangeable. You can get those really cheap. You can get them as low as 13 something for a 33 rounder. That's awesome. But these mags, unlike Glock, which yeah, I know that, that's a huge advantage for Glock, but they just pop straight down. They're so easy. You absolutely do not need a lower. You just pop them in. <laughs> that 
That's nice. I mean, I you really can't ask for a lot more out of a nine mil PC to just sit there and drop lead at 200 yards and get that that ding in. Um, the trigger, no, the, um, it, it's a hard pull. It is not. It's not smooth. It's not a super crisp, clean break. Um, you know. It's kind of like a Glock trigger or a Chris Vector or a Tavor trigger. I know you can get upgrades though. So far, you know, that's really about the only thing that's coming to mind. I do love how the bolt holds open. It's kind of like the HK. Okay, you pull back up here. Okay, it just pulls back, but then just like the HK, it pulls back and you can go up and you hold the bolt, bolt open. I like that feature. I've, I've always loved the feel and the action of the HKs. And then to close it too, you just pull it down and let it go. So it's got some really cool features here. You know, the mag release is ambidextrous. I like that. The bolt release here is on the left side. The safeties is pretty ergonomic. It's comfortable here. Now he did switch it out. It usually is an ambidextrous. And a lot of people just looking at some reviews and stuff complain about that. So he switched that out so it is not on the right side and it is not rubbing on my finger. So it was shooting well. I just want to see what kind of groups we can get here. So we're going to bag it. And well, that is a long trigger pull. Yeah, it, it's it's a hard trigger pull. It's long. Be interesting to see what kind of groups we got. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing though. We'll take a look at these groups. I can only imagine what I could do with this with a good trigger because that was actually a pretty nice group. Let's go take a look. So at 50 yards, you know, guys, I'm gonna say that's very impressive. Considering the pull on that trigger, that's an outstanding group. I honestly believe with a different trigger, this gun is capable of some really tight groups. I mean, I, I feel like I could put all of them in a half dollar, maybe just a little bigger. That's not even the best ammo. That's just my range ammo. But I want to do a close up here. I absolutely love these iron sights. They're metal. These are awesome iron sights. Now you see here, our peep sight, we can just flip and it just keeps going in a circle. And we've got four different sizes. The other thing here is this is hand turn for our windage. That's awesome. I love that. These are some cool sights, guys. And then on the front side here, that's just going to be kind of the standard AR-15 where we're going to make the adjustment for elevation. Okay, so a couple other features that I really like about this is the breakdown. We're gonna, we've got a pin here, just like with the AR-15, and that pops. And pull the bolt back, and then this piece here just falls out. This is the whole trigger assembly. So it'd be really easy, you know, whatever trigger options they have, you could get at nice and easy. And then the bolt's in here, and this thing is huge. To pull that out, there goes my bag. We just slightly release this, and then it pulls out, okay? And now, it is completely empty. It is disassembled. Another really cool feature that CZ thought of is I can adjust this pistol grip here with this bolt. The grip is actually on a slide on the frame and I can move this a little further or closer to the pistol, or sorry, to the trigger assembly. So I can customize that a little bit. The pistol grip itself, eh, I'm not a fan of this grip. It works. Um, I have to get online here, but I think they've got quite a few different options out there. The bolt itself 
is massive. I mean, this thing is a is a chunk of metal. When we look here at uh, at the extractor, it takes up you know close to a third of the space there that the cartridge actually fits in there, meaning this is going to grab the shells and it's going to toss them. Very unlikely to malfunction, break, or have issues with that. My understanding, and, and I'll be honest, the, the little bit of research that I've done on the CZ Scorpion is this was designed for the military, and it, and it shows. I mean, this is, this is a beefy bolt. Goes back together as quick as it came apart. You just take the bolt, goes up in there. We make sure that this is all the way forward. Oh, you don't want to get your finger in there. And voila. I mean, that's fast. That's quick and easy. And help to put it on the right way here. Pull the bolt back. That slides up. And pins forward. The only thing that I don't like about the breakdown is I can't access it from the breech. You can up through here, but I do like to have a straight line. I like to clean from the breech. I know a lot of people are big into boar snakes. I just, I like breech access. Hey, quick note, our channel is moving, not completely off YouTube, but we are now moved over to gunstreamer.com. Have a lot more opportunities there. Keeping both sites open, check us out on Gunstreamer. I've got some stuff on there that I'm not able to put on YouTube and be sure to like and sub over there as well. Now I have been shooting some Wolf Military Classic and some Tula Steel Case. It's eating them right up. I haven't had one hiccup, one jam. Down here a little closer. Let's just have some fun. <laughs> I like it, I like it. It shoots nice. Um, one way around kind of this long stiff trigger and it's totally opposite to the way i'm shooting you know usually we're told to put the trigger right here on the tip i actually get it back here on wrap my finger around and it seems to mitigate the the travel and as you saw it works pretty good let's drop in another mag here It is a fun shooting gun, fun shooting gun. I would love, love to get my hands on the EVO 3S2, the micro. Um, that would be a better comparison to a lot of the, the 9mm PCs that I'm doing. You know, this has got a longer barrel. Um, it's a little front heavy for me. That micro, I'd love to compare that to my CMMG. Um, my Foxtrot, my, my PSA, some of those others. Yeah. 
So anyway, the CZ Scorpion EVO 3S1, I like it. I really like it. It's something different than an AR. It's a different platform. It shoots different. It feels different. I like it. It's got some awesome features, you know, the mag release, the bolt system, how it breaks down. Uh, you know, the only drawback really for me was the trigger is a little stiff, but you know, that's pretty common stuff coming with, with stiff military type triggers. Um, breaks down really quick, really easy. I do like to have access to the breech, which you don't with this. Uh, you've got some cool features with the grip here as far as being able to move it. Uh, closer or farther away from the trigger assembly. The grip itself, eh, not my favorite. Easily switched out. Breakdown, collapsible stock. You've got all kinds of different options. This thing's a beast. I have a feeling that it is going to eat up and spit out anything that we put in it. As you saw, got some tight groups. Even with a trigger like this, I think you could get some, some super tight groups with a lower pound trigger. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub if you haven't visited our webpage, Home of Crazy Stupid Deals. Do so. I've got some online courses. Check those out. That's what helps fun beyond seclusion. Also, until next time, happy shooting. Be safe. Remember, gun control starts at home with you and me and educating everybody.